In this Make Human tutorial, I will show you how to create a cloth simulation using Blender. The tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well, I'm not going to go into a great lot of detail of Make Human. It's all pretty straightforward and easy to use, so I don't see the point in going through. Um, creating models in Blender. So I'll just go over a couple of things. One of the problems with Make Human, although you won't see it once your costume's on, is there is nothing behind the model. So to make a cloth simulation, um, well you can't if you use just the standard sort of setup. So you need to change a couple of things. So all this is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna just uh, Obviously you've got your clothes. If I deselected this, you'd see a full nude lady. Um, materials, um, pose. A pose, that's one thing. So you've got skeleton. Um, a lot of um, stuff in Blender, you're probably better off, especially if you're new, is there's far too many um, bones or in this rig. So, I would always go for the game engine um, in Blender, but even that can cause a problem. But we'll stick with the game engine. Um, pose, you can use some poses if you want. I will just use go for the none or sort of default setting. Expression, no. Um, and that's it really. Um, Yeah, I don't think there's anything much else I can sort of show you here. It's all pretty um, straightforward uh, in, let's have a look at geometries. Yeah, topology, that's in geometry. I'm gonna use the female generic, um, but these work as well. But for this tutorial, let's use the female generic and and that's it really I'm not going to go into any more details the other thing I would start with a simple um, dress um, because some of the costumes in Make Human actually are made up of individual items I have done a tutorial on how to join these items um, in uh, in in Blender um, I'll leave a link for that in uh, the description below this tutorial so anyway so that's that what's the boring bits done i think okay so the first thing you want to do come up to the little um export but button at the top a little orange arrow and select export um i've got this set up as default rig um you can decide where you're going to um export your um character to by selecting this little um, box here and you can I don't know you can change your place I, I'll go with desktop and um, I'm not going to change anything else because I've already got this set up no I'll give it a title sorry I haven't used this for a while so I don't know we'll call it a lady that'll do save so this says lady D A D I A E, and you need to make. I I would stick with the default setting of Kaleida D A E. Don't bother with these down here. So it should come up with this one here. Now another thing, if you leave the setting up here, it's not the right setting for um, Blender. Really, you want to go for Z up face minus y so select this box um, feet on ground is fine so that should be fine so export your model with the costume and then come back to I think it's geometries clothes and deselect the clothes 
go back to export and just change the title so we'll call it lady I don't know mm, wrong spot hate these things NC for no clothes and we'll export again close make human down and go into blender okay so I'm gonna just press one on my numbers pack to go into top view um, I'm assuming you have some experience of blender as well um, if you're a novice it's probably not going to be that easy for you to understand what I'm doing so um, right if you come up to file and select import Kaleida default D and then go to say your desktop import units select this box fix leaf bones uh, find bone chains and auto connect don't worry about this and let's bring in this one here which was the first one we done and as you can see this is the one with the costume if you select the costume and for now just drag this out the way and as you can see there is nothing behind the costume so if I was to make this into some cloth at present it would just fall behind this model I'm going to just hold my left mouse button down drag it over all of the model but not the cloth make sure you have selected the lamp and the camera and hit delete go back into um, import Collider D and this time select your lady with no clothes if you select your, your clothes or your costume and then hold down shift followed by S put the pointer here shift S and selection to cursor and this will bring the costume bang in line with your model and nothing's changed so now if I select this lady's body then select the wrench no I don't want sorry I'm, I'm not really thinking what I'm doing forget that select the physics properties button and with the body selected select collision and then select your dress and select cloth I wouldn't bother changing too many of these settings because these um, dresses aren't that clever and <laughs> make human the only thing you may want to select is collisions and self collision doesn't matter with this one but some of them you might you don't want them sort of um, come if you've got something inside it will come through if you don't select self collision and just press play just to make sure your dress is working and that again with make human um, the alpha won't automatically get selected in uh, blender so this transparent part here I'll leave another link on how to get around that in my um, description below as well but that is sorted this out you don't need to rig the cloth with um, the bone because you if you because you've got this collision set up here in fact I'll just show you something if I select the rig now I don't know go back to the beginning and go into pose mode let's um, in fact come over to this box here object properties and viewpoint display and then select in front okay now you won't see anything um, 
doing it this way but if I said select I don't know if I selected this one and I press 3 on my numbers pad at this point here frame 1 I'll, I'll leave this as it is so I'll just hit I and select rotation and this will place a key frame and if I come along, I don't know, this is a very quick tutorial, so I'll come along to 50 just to prove a point. With this selected, I'll select the rotate and rotate this young lady's leg. And as you can see, it's broken through the dress. But if I just hit I again and select rotation, go back to the beginning, make sure that it's moving. You should be able to see that the dress is actually now moving with the model. Just go into object mode. We'll hide this um, rig and press play. And she's now, this costume is now acting like some a piece of material. This will be set up something like cotton. And this is a way to get around a problem as well with um, make human models. The, the, when they're actually the material is uh, connected to the rig, often it will break through. You can work with this um, a lot better. And even if it does break through, you can remodel this um, costume. I'm not going to go into costume modeling, but you can change it. It's a lot easier to do it this way. Anyway. Sorry if I've had a few mistakes, I'm not really concentrating what I'm doing too much today. Hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.